Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a bit or I'll be trying to make a bit with the SP404 um, Mark II. Uh, I just bought it and uh, I know it's like a year later after you know it came out. But, you know, I didn't have the chance to get it but now here it is and uh, I've been watching some tutorials. Uh, uh, shout out to Milo Beats. Uh, he has a great tutorial. I'm gonna leave the link uh, maybe in the description or somewhere around here. Uh, you can go and watch it. I'm not gonna make a tutorial because it's I'm still learning. But I'm gonna try to make a bit uh, for you guys. And uh, yeah, let's start. Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, I got some samples already loaded into the SD card. So let's press Shift and Import. Uh, we're gonna go here uh, in uh, press import you gotta push this knob right here just push it and it's gonna open the SD card there you go um, you go to samples and I have two folders I got the drums uh, the drums folder and the samples folder so let's load the hmm so let's load the drums first. So to load the, the sample, you just gotta press the path where the uh, where you want the sample at, and uh, just uh, push the button right here where it says enter, and it's gonna load. That's it. Okay, so after we we do that, press exit, and we have the samples here. As you can see, it's not playing the the whole sample. You have to hold it so you can play the the whole sample. And that's because it's gated. And if you if you press here, gate, it plays the whole sample. So now that we have the drums, we're gonna import the samples for the melody. And I'm gonna do that on a bank uh, B. So we go to shift, import, which is uh, path 14. Import uh, from SD card, samples, and right here. So I'm gonna place it on path number one. So. We're gonna go to start and, and end. All right. To zoom in, you move this uh, knob right here. And to move the, the starting point, it's uh, this one right here. I don't know if you could see it. Where it says control one, and for the end, it's a uh, uh, control uh, three. Okay. Point that out. Now that we uh, have the, the start and the end point of the sample, we're going to press this knob again and we're going to truncate. Truncate? Truncate? I don't know. And let me normalize it. There you go. That's more like it. Okay, so now I want to chop the sample. We're going to press shift and start again. So now we got the, the chops, we're going to press this uh, knob right here and we're going to assign to path because right now you just uh, uh, chop the sample but it's not on a bank. So we want to add it to a bank. So after you select the bank uh, to, to add the chops, you just have to press where you want the chops to be. So I'm going to press the way I sampled it. So number one goes in number one and two and, and so on. So. There you go. So after that, we're going to press the, the knob and so I don't want those samples to play at the same time. You know, if I press this path, I don't want it to keep playing when I press uh, the next path. For that, I'm going to uh, press shift and add it to a, a, a mute group. So I'm going to choose group six. So we press exit. Okay, so now we got the chops. Let's uh, look for the main pattern and uh, see if we can make a bit. So we go to pattern right here, pattern select. And to select where you want to save your pattern, uh, you just press record and choose a path. So for me, I'm just going to choose the first one. When you press record, it's going to give you a one bar countdown before you start recording. Right now, 
is recording. If you press anything, it's going to record. So if you want to rehearsal something before uh, doing any type of recording, you just press record again and you're going to see rehearsal there. I can do that and it's not going to record. So we're going to go to uh, bank C where I have my sample and we're going to try to make a nice beat for you guys. This is my first beat with the SP404 MK2. I like how it sounds. Uh, uh, it has a pretty good bass. Uh, the drums go perfectly with the sample. Obviously, there's more uh, patterns that I could make. Maybe add some vocals, uh, you know, like chop some vocals and add it. Uh, this is not a finished beat, but um, since it's my first one, uh, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, all that stuff. Don't forget to go to my Instagram page. And uh, yeah, here's the beat. Enjoy.